editing. Here I have 10 pictures I just pulled in from a newborn session. Um, we got some family pictures here and then a couple of baby by himself. So I'm going to show y'all how I batch edit these photos. So step one, I'm going to um, apply my preset. And so I'm going to lower the exposure a tad and well, that looks good to me. And so what I'm going to do now is select all the photos I have in this set. So not all of them, just the ones in these um, images, this, these first six uh, photos. So once I do that, I'm going to hit sync. Let those run. Um, I also afterwards will go to settings, match total exposures. And um, that will get you closer to the correct exposure on each one to match what I have going on here. So um, after that, I'll run through and crop them all and make sure that they look okay. Let's see. So you can see here that like they're all very much edited how I want them to um, once I synced the settings. We're gonna keep going. Lightroom will allow it. Um, Perfect. Um, I'll leave that one how I had it. Um, so for this one, I think the exposure needs to come up a tad. So I'll just up that exposure a little bit um, and keep going. So once I'm done editing all the photos in this set right here, meaning the first six, they're in the same location same people, all that stuff, I'm going to go to the next set and I'm going to edit this first one. So I'm going to apply my preset. Adjust colors. And then select all of these and sync these settings as well. And then match total exposures. Um, so I think what saves me a ton of time is that I don't um, sync the entire gallery at once. I do it by section almost. Um, and then I go back and crop them all. So um, if you edit just one picture and then sync it to the entire gallery, you're going to get, um, it's, it's just not going to, they're, they're not going to be cohesive because it's different parts of um, different locations, different clothing, different wraps, things like that. So my biggest suggestion is to do it at per, um, per set. And when I, again, when I say set, I mean like each different location and things like that. Um, so, and typically when I go through each one to crop, all that needs adjusting is exposure at this point. Um, so after I am finished editing the entire gallery as far as colors and preset goes, then I will go back and make minor adjustments. Um, I'm very picky about what minor adjustments I make. This is one that I would make none. Um, 
typically the only minor adjustments I make is if there is prominent um, acne that needs to be cloned out or um, baby skin. So for this one, it looks fine to me. Um, when I zoom in, I can see that there's a little piece of baby acne. Um, I don't make my babies look like porcelain. So this being a little bit red does not bother me. Um, same as far as all of these go. I like my babies to look, I, I preserve memories in a way that like, I don't want a mom to look back on her pictures and be like, man, I don't remember my kid looking like that. So I don't take a lot, all of it out. Um, but like for images of just the baby, like this one, I will, um, do a little bit more, um, in depth editing because the focus is on just baby. So I would clone out the little piece of acne right here. And then I have a brush set that I have created, um, that is, for hands, jaundice, purple remover, red removal, and newborn skin. These brushes come in my um, newborn course. So for, like, I'm wanting to soften the skin. So I'm just going to use a um, radial filter. Not a radial filter. What is this? This one right here. Um, the round one. And you can see when I apply it, it softens the skin. So you can soften it a ton or you can bring it down. I um, leave mine at, oops, 33 is like where kind of have a default. It's like a happy medium. Um, and then you can, let me see. when using the brushes, you can go back and grab just a generic sharpen and just run it over the eyelashes. I'm going to use a couple more brushes and add it right here. I'm just clicking a couple times. And then we're going to let Lightroom think for a moment because Lightroom's really good at thinking these days. And that's what you get. So that would be your before. Here's your after. All Lightroom and with my brushes. So you can see it makes a big difference. Um, and then I would just continue going through doing the same thing for all of these. Um, I think when it comes to increasing your editing time, it's extremely important to um, prioritize your style, meaning what is important for me to get these photos out the door. Um, I don't believe in perfection. I don't believe that um, everything must be perfect for a client to love their pictures. I find that there's beauty and imperfection. Um, so that is something that I have to remind myself when editing. Um, if you overanalyze every single picture, I can't help you other than telling you not to do it and to find tools that make your job easier like these brushes. Um, so I'm just going to erase this off of the eyelids. Um, I think that, so to me, the colors of the picture is important. So that's what I will spend the most of my time on. Um, making sure there's not a single bit of texture or um, anything on these, on the baby skin. Like that's not of importance to me. So I'm going to do what sticks out to me. But let me let you in on another secret is 
that I also believe in. Hold on, let me let Lightroom think and then I'll show you. Come on, Lightroom. If I can't see it zoomed out, I don't care about it zoomed in. If you're zooming your pictures in like this to fix every little thing, here's your sign and here's your permission to stop, okay? If you can't see it like this, okay, a client might zoom in like here. But a client is not going to be 100 times zoomed in like this. So give yourself permission and some grace to look at the picture as a whole and view it as a client would see it. Um, and that will help a ton as well. So I hope this helps. If you have more questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, but yeah, I think batch editing can be a beautiful thing whenever you have the right mindset. But if you, again, if you have a mindset that um, every little thing has to be perfect when you're zoomed in times 100, then I can't help you. So um, sit back and choose what you find of importance. I can see in this picture, I can, I notice a little bitty baby acne. So we're going to edit that out. Um, but as far as everything else, y'all, it's a beautiful picture. So give yourself grace, give yourself permission to, um, to not have to strive for perfection. So, um, again, let me know if you have any questions and I hope that this was helpful.